This is an update of the Perfect Fitness Multi-Gym Doorway Pull-Up Bar after using it for more than six months in my home workouts. To start off, the Perfect Fitness Doorway Pull-Up Bar is just that. It's a pull-up bar that you can use your doorway's frame for in order to do pull-ups from, say, a doorway, and I'm using my closet here in my home office, to build a bigger back, biceps, or use it for other things such as dips and push-ups. But I'll get into other reasons why I don't do those two exercises, as I use it mainly for pull-ups in my home training. Now I purchased this doorway pull-up bar back on December 27th of 2019. At that time, it was a bit cheaper than it actually is now, coming in at $33.97 after Texas taxes. All you really get is the doorway pull-up bar, but that's all you really need as that is what this is really built for and is best used for in your home workouts. So without waiting around, let's jump into the pros and cons list. My first pro is that it is sturdy, well-built, and fits my door very well. Throughout all of the eight months of use, I've never felt like it was gonna come crashing to the floor. Um, really, it has been a very, very sturdy product and hasn't moved at all during use. There is one con I'll talk about it with one of the pads, but overall, this thing has been very, very well made, and it is so far my favorite pull-up bar I've used in my home training. My next pro is that the bar thickness, so basically the grip that you can grab it with, is perfect for at least my hands when doing things like pull-ups, chin-ups, and other variations of the pull-up exercise. In other pull-up bars I used in the past, they were too big, like the Mega Bar I have a review on, which is a good product overall and good idea, just had really big handles and they were hard to hold, whereas some of them I just feel like they're really weak and flimsy, where these ones I always feel like they're very solid and I'm never again gonna fall off and they fit the grip of my hands very well in the size of my hands overall. And with that comes more confidence in doing actual pull-ups, so that's why I really uh, gravitate towards this one as being my favorite. My next pro is that this doorway pull-up bar can hold up to 300 pounds of weight. So as I get better doing pull-ups, I am adding additional weight by taking out my backpack and putting more weight plates in it. Now I can add up to another 100 pounds of weight if I put all the plates and the handles into that backpack. However, I'm still under 200 pounds, coming in at about 185 right now. So I could only get up to 285 pounds anyway, which is getting close to the limit, but really I can never break it with the current weights that I have which is always a good thing. The next pro is that this pull-up bar fits doorways up to 33 inches wide with six inches of depth. And this is gonna work for the majority of doors out there. Unless your door is very, very wide, um, it's gonna fit just fine. For me right now, if you, uh, the pictures I'll show you, it's actually butting up against one of the walls. So the closet I'm using, the wall is very close to the frame of the doorway, kind of pushing it to the left a bit if you're looking directly where you'd be doing pull-ups. It's pushing it to the left a bit so that the other pad is actually off the door from itself and on the wall. Still works fine, but just know it's actually a bit too big for my door frame overall, but still works just great. There are two settings that you can set the height of the pull-up bar to, meaning you can get a little further away from the floor or the ceiling with this setup. For me, I elected to go a little further away from the floor because I didn't want my knees getting too close to the ground when coming down from the pull-up position. I also still had quite a bit of headroom when putting it on this setting. My next pro is that it covers all the hand positions that I use in my current training programs. For me, I like to do the standard pull-up, the chin-up, hammer pull-ups from time to time, and I also use the hammer a lot for doing things like leg raises, and then it also has those extra wide handle pieces out over the door frames um, that you can use if you wanna do extra wide pull-ups. I don't use the for that all the time, but just know if you wanna be doing extra wide pull-ups, they are there with specific handles for it. And my last pro is that this pull-up bar is great at being one thing, a doorway pull-up bar. So that is what you're really buying this for. If you want it for anything else, I wouldn't buy it. I would just buy it if you were looking for a great home doorway pull-up bar. With that, let's jump into the cons list. My first con and the biggest one I have to this day is that there are no foam handle grips at the standard pull-up width position, being that just in front or slightly wider than your shoulders. I'm not sure why they opted out of those here, as most people probably are gonna be doing standard pull-ups at some point in their training, um, but they left them off. It's just the normal plastic that you're holding onto. Um, it just seems very weird going from the regular handles uh, with the foam to nothing at the standard grip uh, size. I still need to go and call them and see if they can do this, but I actually did order the Elite version of the pull-up bar, which should be coming in September. It is back-ordered, 
which has it all around in the picture. So we'll see if I like that one more and I don't have to deal with this one anymore. But this is one of my biggest cons and it's pretty annoying not to have those handle grips there. So if they are watching this video, I hope in the next iteration of this that they make, they added those foam grip handles. My next pro, and I'm not sure if this is my fault or the actual pull-up bar's fault, is that the foam grip on the right-hand side, so if you're looking again at it and you're gonna do a pull-up, on the right-hand side where it meets the door frame, the actual padding on the back that protects the wall keeps coming off a bit, so it's when I'm using it, it's sliding up towards the ceiling and the bar's coming down. And what's happened is the bottom piece, which is like a hard plastic, I think, or maybe metal, um, is digging into the door frame, actually taking off some of the paint. So that's an issue you might have to watch out for. The left side's perfectly fine. It only happened on the right. So what I'm gonna have to do is take out some super glue and make sure I super glue it back on in order to make it so it doesn't come off uh, the siding and really end up damaging the door. Because if you didn't have the padding, it would definitely damage the door pretty badly. So it's something that I have to address. And my last con, it's actually pretty minor in comparison to other doorway pull-up bars I've used, is that there is some slight coloration on the walls after using it for eight months um, on the doorway, and especially the wall side. So you'll see slight blackness on the white walls as these are black padding on white walls, but this is nothing, nothing compared to old pull-up bars that I've used in the past. I've had old pull-up bars actually put like really big dents into the door frames, other leave really dark black markings, but this one, just very, very light black markings, which is pretty okay. I think I might be able to like scrub it off if I really needed to. So it's really not that big a deal overall especially when you compare it to other ones I've used in the past. That's it for my pros and cons list. So the last question I always ask myself is, would I buy the Perfect Fitness Multi-Gym Doorway Pull-Up Bar Pro Edition again? And that would be a 100% yes. This is again my favorite doorway pull-up bar I have ever used and I'm going to continue using unless the Elite version is just that much better. One little note here before I leave as well, I did use this for some tricep push downs at one point using my resistance bands. Basically what I did is I put the band over where you do the hammer grip handles and just push down from there. However, in doing this, uh, it did have the bands rub against the actual handles themselves, which ended up ripping some of the handles a little bit off. So you can see there's a little rip line in the handles themselves. And that's because the bands was actually being kind of going through the handle piece itself as I was using it. I didn't realize it until after. So I don't do those anymore using this, but just know if you are going to use it for that reason, make sure that you kind of move the handles. Like the, the handle uh, foam can be moved a little bit. If you kind of just wiggle your wrist back and forth, it will move a little bit up and down. So just do that before actually using it. So it's only on the plasticky metal part of the pull-up bar and not on the foam grips itself, or it may end up ripping like mine did. For the price, variety, how well it's built, all the hand variations you can do, and much, much more, this is a great product, in my opinion, for your home gym. And that's it. So again, if you did like this review after using it for now about eight months, really, um, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. Also, make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. There you can check out my current training program, the equipment I own and use, as well as the resources I'm learning from to build muscle, burn body fat, and gain confidence, all from the comfort of home. And that's it. So again, like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.